Ladies and gentlemen, we live in historic moments. We still can't believe it. Today is Thursday, March 31st, 2022. And I am about to start making my very first broth, beef, beef, bone beef broth. Broth made out, out of the bones of beef. Um, first thing I'm gonna do, of course, I went on YouTube and I um, checked out different recipes and different ways of doing it. Uh, I got a little bit of each um, recipe that I saw um, on YouTube and um, and I like some of the ideas um, as far as you know that that can help the flavor uh, of the broth so this is what I'm gonna use these are the ingredients that I'm gonna use for my broth uh, these are beef bones um, specifically the ones with the marrow these are, are the ones with the bone marrow as you can see um, these are from the neck uh, with um, plenty of beef and um, these two are oxtails parts of oxtails and these are bone marrows right here so um first the first thing that I'm going to do is put this in the oven 425 um, degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes that should roast them um, to a certain point and should um, give them more flavor, give the broth more flavor. So I'll let you know how it goes. So I'm gonna put them, put them in the oven right now. Okay, so the oven is already preheated. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in there. And then I set the timer, 45 minutes, all right? And in the meantime, while that gets done, I am going to chop my, um, the ingredients that I'm gonna add and I'm gonna put in the Instapot. Okay, I'm using um, some turmeric. I'm gonna be chopping this. Um, I'm going, I'm also using some ginger, not a lot of ginger, because I like ginger, but not in my soup. But it's uh, anti-inflammatory, and it's very good, so it's gonna go well in, in, in the broth, it's gonna be good. Um, some garlic, I, I've got like eight, eight teeth, I love garlic, so I, I, put, um, I put some in there. And um, I've got some whole uh, black pepper, not a lot, because I don't want it too spicy. I also have some cilantro. I have some spar par <laughs> parsnips. Um, it looks like a carrot, but there's uh, parsnips. A couple of um, carrots and um, a couple of, because these are small, that's, what I'm, that's why I'm using two red onions. I'm also gonna add some Himalayan salt and some bay leaves to my, to my broth, okay? Now I'm gonna stop the video now and I'm gonna um, start chopping all of these. So I'm gonna chop all these finely the way I want and put them in a bowl and just wait for the beef to roast and, um, and then begin. Okay, I chopped everything, all the ingredients, the um, parsnips, the uh, carrots, the, um, the red onions, the cilantro. I did add some um, celery because I love celery. I forgot to mention it. Uh, the ginger, the turmeric, and the garlic. Everything is in there. I'm going to just um, add the, um, the peppercorns, the black peppercorns, and I'm just gonna put it in the, in the pot, okay? And uh, now I'm just waiting for the beef to roast and um, um, all of that roast is going to go in there and then I'm going to fill it with water uh, up to um, where it says I can't go over a certain limit because it's a pressure cooker. So, oh, and I need to add the bay leaves also. Okay, and, um, and the salt. I also forgot to mention that I'm going to add some sofrito. My sister got this from a lady that makes it uh, at home and uh, it's really good. So that's going to add a lot of flavor. So I'm going to add uh, this amount to the pot.
Okay, the um, meat has been roasting for 45 minutes. Let's see what it looks like. That's what it's supposed to look like. Now I'm gonna take that out of the oven and um, go to the next step. Okay, now that all the meat is roasted, nice and roasted, that's gonna bring out the flavor in the broth. What I'm going to do is basically take each of the pieces and um, put them in the pot. Everything else is in there already. I haven't put any water in there yet. I'll do that when I finish putting these in there. Okay, so all the, um, the beef is in the pot. Uh, what I'm gonna do, what I saw in the, one of the videos that I saw, I'm gonna put some water in here so that I can scrape off some of this um, beef uh, grease and um, add more flavor to, to the broth. So I'll scrape this off and I'll put it in the, um, in the, in the, in the pot. Okay, now once I've got it mostly scraped off, um, loosened up and scraped with uh, the water, then I'll take it and I'll put it in the pot. That'll help with um, with the flavor. Okay, now I'm going to pour some um, filtered water in the pot, but I am not going to go up to the maximum line. I'm gonna go just below it. That should be just enough, I think. This is the maximum fill line. And I'm going a little bit of over, you know, with the meat, but um, it'll settle. Um, the vegetables are underneath and there's a lot of space. <clears throat> so, um, so that should be just enough. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and close the instant pot. Okay, and then I'm gonna follow what it says here. There's a mode for soup or broth. Um, it says pressure high. That's, I've, I've heard different versions. I've heard low pressure, I've heard high pressure. I'm just gonna leave it on high. Um, I'm gonna turn off the keep warm um, because I want it to cool off after it's done. Now the um, the time. Let's see. There we go. I'm gonna go for. Uh, I'm gonna do three hours. Okay, three hours, okay, and then uh, start. Okay, so in three hours, I will decide whether, um, whether I'm going to slow cook it a little more or just leave it as is. All right, thanks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're living in Spark Moors. We still can't believe it. Today is Friday, April 1st. 2022 it's been um i've been cooking the broth since yesterday uh it beat up uh, a couple of minutes ago uh i'm gonna open it for the first time to see how it turned out how this is how i did it i this is a pressure cooker and also a slow cooker so i pressure cooked the bones with the vegetables and everything in there uh, for three and a half hours, pressure cooked. Now, after pressure cooking it,
then I set it to slow cooking and left it on for 15, 15 or 16 additional hours. Um, so we'll see how it turned out. Um, I'm gonna open the pot right now um, to see, and then I'm gonna taste it to see um, if it turned out as good as I hope, <laughs> as I hope it did. All right, here's the pot opening. Okay, let me put this on this side. Right. Um, I don't know, but it looks really good to me. It looks really good to me. Um, there's some, some beef in there, a lot of beef in there. And, um, yeah. It's part of the bone. The vegetables, it smells really good. And, um, I don't know. It looks like it's done properly. I will taste some and let you know what it's like. Okay, I just tried the broth and it is absolutely delicious. Um, I put some avocado in there. As you can see, as recommended my, my nutritional coach Gladys. And um, I left all the, um, the fat in there, which is um, good. There's some meat in there too, but I'm um, mostly broth and fat. Uh, the vegetables are almost totally gone, but, um, but it's been cooking for like a long time. Uh, everything is, is, is really tasty. I can taste a little bit of the ginger in there. I can taste the bay leaves. I can taste the garlic, it's really good. I added a little bit of salt to my bowl because I didn't, um, I didn't add a lot of salt to the, the actual pot. So, um, so I added a little bit of Himalayan salt to the bowl, um, but it tastes absolutely delicious. Um, I'm gonna be making this like this from now on. This is the first time I'm making this. So I'll be doing it, doing it like this from now on. I am, um, I'm just starting to break my fast for today. We're on a three day broth fasting. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And, um, and now that I know how to make the broth, I'll be making it like this from now on. I also wanted to thank my brother Juan for gifting us the pot. This is an Instapot. It's really easy to use and, um, and it's awesome. And um, my brother uh, gifted it to, to me and my, my family because uh, we really needed it. So thank you so much, my brother. Uh, I'm going to leave you now because I'm going to start eating. I'm going to break in, be breaking my fasting right now and enjoying this beautiful, just beautiful broth, as you can see, with the avocado and, um, and all the, the, the fat and everything. And you can taste the roasted uh, beef in there because I roasted it. As you remember, I roasted it in the oven for a little bit. That was a great tip because it definitely enhances the flavor. You can taste the roasted beef in there. My mouth is watering just thinking about it, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you so I can, so that I can eat this and enjoy. It, all right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and um, we'll see you in the next one.